what would you do with a wormhole? Like if you could just snap your fingers and make a wormhole appear, what would you do with it? Uh, a wormhole, in case you don't know, because you've been living in a, a hole dug by a small insect, uh, is a theoretical concept of a tunnel that connects any two points in space-time. It was originally thought up by physicists in the early 20th century, and uh, eventually the idea of it was perfected up until this point by Albert Einstein and Nathan Rosen, which is why wormholes are also known as Einstein-Rosen bridges. Uh, Einstein's theory of general relativity predicts that wormholes are real, but scientists have yet to actually find one. That may be because uh, they're also predicted to be microscopically small and prone to collapsing faster than your average male soccer player. Despite these challenges, one man claims that he does have the ability to make wormholes at will. His name is David Miles, and he lives in Australia where he runs Miles Research. Uh, Miles refuses to reveal how he creates wormholes, saying that he doesn't want another company to steal the technology or worse for the military to get their hands on it and weaponize it. That is a noble, uh, noble sacrifice that he's making, considering that this technology would, if published, give him an immediate Nobel Prize and billions of dollars in other prizes and funding. Uh, but no, he wants to keep his tech a secret in order to use it for his greater purpose, making it rain. I don't mean that to be metaphorical, though in retrospect, I suppose it also is. He claims that he's using wormholes to literally make it rain in southeastern Australia, though... What it's really doing is making it rain, like how rappers mean the phrase money. He's he's making money. Uh, you see, Miles is charging farmers $50,000 uh, every month to supposedly bring rain to their otherwise dry crops. He says he uses his wormhole technology to identify and build a bridge to weather systems that may be moving past in the next 10 days. And then he starts a butterfly effect that results in rain now. Get it? It's pretty, it's pretty simple. Uh, he says he does this using electromagnetic scalar waves, which a University of Melbourne physicist reports, and I quote, don't exist. Uh, sure. Who are you going to believe? A man who says he uses wormholes to make it rain or some big physics mouthpiece? Yeah, that's what I thought. Miles points out that his tech must work because desperate farmers are paying him for this quote unquote service. And he even has a money back guarantee, sort of. Uh, if it rains a hundred millimeters in a month, the farmers owe him $50,000. If they only get 50 millimeters, they only owe him $25,000 for that month. And if they get less than 50 millimeters, it's free. How fair. This reminds me of a much older scam uh, in which a psychic or someone with mysterious technology they refuse to describe uh, claims the ability to predict the sex of a baby from the moment of conception without any blood or pee test. This is, of course, impossible, uh, but they promise a money back guarantee. So it's win win, right? Sure. For them. Uh Let's say uh, you drop $100. They flip a coin. They tell you boy or girl. If they're wrong, they lose nothing. If they're right, they get $100. With a 50% chance of being right with every guess, that means they make on average $50 per customer. If anyone ever offers you a deal like this, uh, let them know that you want 200% money back if they're wrong. That way you'll work out who is actually confident in their psychic abilities or their wormhole technology. Miles is taking advantage of the exact same trick. If he's wrong, he loses nothing. If he's right, he gets twenty-five to $50,000 for doing absolutely nothing. For the farmers, it's like signing a contract saying, I'm going to pay a random man if it rains. But the odds say that Miles will occasionally be right in that it actually will rain after he tells a farmer he's going to make it rain. 
For that farmer who may not be well-versed in physics and electromagnetic scalar waves, he's proven that his system works. So if they keep paying, they're going to think they're getting a good deal. If next month doesn't work due to some mix-up or system error, well, they didn't have to pay for it, so no worries, right? It's a scam, but is Miles a scammer? Of course he is, you might think. You need a scammer to perpetuate a scam. But what if Miles is also scamming himself? I bring this up because news.com.au reports that Miles' company actually lost $70,000 last year. I don't know how. They also point out that they have less than $1,300 cash in the bank and debts of nearly $780,000. I don't imagine that this is like Twitter or Facebook, where a company can be nearly a million dollars in debt, but the CEO is still buying mansions for each of his mistresses. I think this is like sad person whose serious misunderstanding of physics has combined with an overly inflated ego to lead to his financial devastation. And weirdly, that's the good news. For the real scammers, like, for instance, psychic Sylvia Brown, uh, they will keep defrauding people literally until they die, which happily Sylvia Brown finally did when she was nearly 80 years old. Scammers like Miles, though, might not be actual sociopaths, and so they're only going to keep defrauding people until they're broke or until they get decent meds or a decent education. That's... Not to say that I feel bad for him. After all, he's still taking tens of thousands of dollars from farmers who don't know any better. The ACCC, uh, the Australian Competition and Consumer Commission, basically Australia's version of the FTC, say that they can't do anything about Miles uh, except for to try to educate farmers so that they don't get conned. They point out that if they took Miles to court, then the onus would be on them to prove that he can't make a wormhole, which they feel is too difficult to do. I feel for them because proving a negative is generally impossible. You would think that the onus would fall on the defendant in this case to back up the claims that he's making. Surely if someone advertised that for $50,000 they could cure someone's cancer with lasers, they would have to back up that claim. And if they couldn't, then the ACCC should be able to stop them. Even if it is on the ACCC, though, to prove that he's wrong, news.com.au literally did that with one quote from a physicist. Electromagnetic scalar waves don't exist. There. Done. And it's not like this is a murder trial where the standard of evidence needs to be the highest it possibly can be. But even then, honestly, yes, you can prove beyond a reasonable doubt that this guy can't open a fucking wormhole in his apartment building. Put a couple of physicists on stand, maybe a meteorologist or two. Honestly, they should do it, not just for the farmers, but for Miles, because at this rate, he's going to bankrupt himself within a year, and he's going to take several family farms down with him. And the ACCC will have no one to blame but themselves, and maybe the state of Victoria's science education program. 